Hey guys, I am Mithilesh Paul from Freak Motion. Today I will show you an interesting text animation inside of After Effects. We will also use the time displacement effect here to make the animation more interesting. You can use this animation for different projects. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Give it a name you like. Now take the type tool, and type your text. Press Alt plus Ctrl plus Home button, to center the anchor point. Also align the text. I am using Square 721 Extended BT font, but you can use your own font. By the way, this is a free font. Alright, now open the text layer, click on this Animate button, and add Opacity. Then click on this Add button, and select Position. Now, first change the position something like this. Then go to the 5 frames, and add a keyframe on offset. Also change the offset value to minus 100. Then go forward to 1 second, and change the offset value to 100. Now open advance option, and change the shape to ramp up. Also change the ease low value to 100%. We can see the animation here. Now we just need to turn off the opacity and we are done with the text animation. This is a very cool technique to reveal a text. Alright, let's see the next part. Let's create a new composition with the same settings. Name it Map. Now create a shape like this. Also make sure, it is filled with black and white gradient colors, just like this. Now click on this add button, and select repeater. Change the copies value 80. Also change the position value something like this. Increase the x-axis value. Just make sure the shapes placed one after another, like this. Now align it to the top, and place it like this. Now add another repeater. Change the copy's value 80 again. But this time change the y-axis position value. Just like this. By doing this, we get a cool pattern. And we use this pattern as a map. If you are still watching this video, a sub will be awesome. And a like will be the cherry on the cake. It gives me the motivation to make more videos. Now create another composition with same settings. Give it a name you like. You can create a solid layer for background. Then bring the other two composition here. Just make sure you place the map layer under the text layer. Now turn off the visibility of the map layer. Then select the text layer, and apply time displacement effect on the layer. It looks weird right now. Let's change the displacement layer to the map. 
It's not what I am looking for. You can change the render settings from here if it seems slow to you. Change the displacement time to minus 0.1. Still it's not what I am looking for. Let's change the position of the map a little bit. Yep, yeah, now it looks good to me. Try to keep this section in the middle of view text. Now select this two layer, and pre-composed it. Give it a name you like. Now search for Venetian blinds effect, and apply it on the layer. Change the transition completion value to 30%, change the direction to 37, and make the width value 6. Select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make duplicate of this layer. And delete this effect for here. And search for fill effect. Apply it on the layer, and change the color you like. Now offset the layer by few frames. Make another copy of this layer and change its color to white. You can add fill effect on this layer also. Pick a different color you like. And it's done. Hit the space bar to ramp review it. Awesome. Here is a tips for everyone who is watching this video till now. You can change the effect by just changing the shape. Just follow my steps. Cool, right? I just explain you the way, but destination is yours. By the way, you can change the text whenever you need. Just like this. Alright, let's wrap it up for today, I will catch you guys in the next video. Till then keep exploring.